Well, hello, hello, Angela. Can you hear me okay? Do we have a connection? I can. I can hear you just fine. Let me move this thing out of the way. I hate these things, you know. <laughs> We're all glamored up here and can't I can't move my arms. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, I I was just playing. Uh, this is our happy place. This is what this this podcast is all about. It's about uh, making a living anywhere you plant your fanny, which means on the beach, and it means wherever that RV parks. It means where a hotel, uh, you know, tough shed, walking the beach, wherever. Angela, we're going to talk about virtual today, and I'm excited about. Uh, uh, having this conversation with you because you got some really good takeaways, I think, from uh, from what virtual means to so many people. But I uh, listen. I, I wanted to play this thing. This is this is this is where this is where we get our um, I don't know what you want to call it. It's our mojo, right? It's, it's where we just get our happy place. What we want to do with our lives. It's, we want to be able to make a living around things we love to do. Seen that before? <laughs> Let me go. Uh, there we go. Now we're going to clean it up. Now, Angela's, you're not going to start crying on me, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> That's a running joke around the house is that uh, Angela's always crying. It doesn't, it doesn't take much. <laughs> so we've been doing this virtual thing for a long time. I mean, we really started it with. Uh, uh, you and Nisa Kleenex there, Angela. Yeah, Wait till I, I play this. Late, late, late. I got another hundred or so videos I can, I can <laughs> bore, bore everybody else out to death there. But look, that's the point. It's where, you know, I, I, I hope this video touches a lot of people out there that are watching it, uh, this podcast, because uh, that's that's really where our heart is. Our heart, you know, it, it, well, first of all, Angela's heart's on the ocean. She loves the water, loves to be by the water. Uh, she can smell the water. Going across the causeway, that, that, you know, we roll the windows down so we can smell the water. Whatever your thing is, and everybody has different uh, different happy places, obviously. Some people have, love the mountains, and some people love the snow and all that stuff. We like that stuff from a distance. We prefer to, the, we prefer the beach. We prefer the anywhere there's water. And we went to the boat show last weekend, and some of those pictures came in that boat show, and it was fantastic. But uh, that's that's really look. We've been doing this for a long, long time, uh, Angela. And um, you know, before we we did we weren't doing virtual before COVID. Yeah. And we were doing face to face, and we were still able to wherever wherever we parked ourselves, we were able to run business and make a living. Our dream was to always be able to, to travel around the country, work with our agents, train, do some training, and wherever the RV part, we could grab some leads and you know and uh, and start doing some some appointments. But those were all face to face. So then we had to you know pull a car behind us, and we had to get we had to be licensed in that state, which you still have to do. But you were getting in the car, we were we were doing the face-to-face stuff so we're running around and and so and and it, and it worked that was that that was our plan for our ret- for our retirement and by the way we're not retired in, at all but you know we we love to be able to make our living uh around our lifestyle around our kids our grandkids things that we do that we, that we love doing so um you know it's not really even semi-retired we've got an office in florida we got one in california so we're you know we're, we're in the game but you know we again want to build a business with the end of mind which is doing the things that we love to do and uh you know while we do love selling insurance and life insurance and protecting families and what we do matters all that stuff um we do it because it provide it, it. It is the vehicle that will give us the lifestyle that we're looking for. So again, um, we were trying to transition to virtual before COVID. COVID just moved it, you know, what a hundred times faster than yeah. than uh, than anybody would expect. And now people expect to do business virtually. They're used to doing business virtually. I don't ever see it going back. 
We're not advocating everybody should do this business 100% virtually, but it does give us the ability to now really, uh, whereas before, Angela, we had to, you know, we had to be in the state we were selling in, right? We had to, we, if we were going to visit with families, we had to be sitting in Alabama or Georgia or Texas with the RV, get the car unhooked and buy some leads and book some appointments and run around. Now we can be parking that RV on the beach in Florida and we could be selling virtually. And I hate to use the word selling folks, but when you tell you, when you get paid to do something to push a product as considered sales, I really think we're educators. Oh, we're not selling. We share options and they choose. That's it. And we don't call anybody that hasn't asked to be called. So it's really not selling, but anyway, um, but now we can be sitting on, on the beach in Florida with the RV there and calling, uh, uh, you know, and, you know, sharing the, the, uh, the options with clients in Hawaii and Georgia and all over the United States. So that's what I want you to talk about today, Angela. So I, I'll, I'll shut up just for a few minutes. And now that you've, you've, you managed to compose yourself and, uh, and you can share with us. You know, um, I think one of the things that, well, I, I'll, I'll talk, first of all, everything that you just said is true. You know, when we had, uh, when we had prior to COVID and people were kind of, you know, is this whole virtual thing possible? Or, you know, I don't really think that people really gave it as much credence because even a lot of the carriers that we work with hadn't, you know, a lot of them didn't have procedures in place for being able to effectively communicate with a client. If you weren't, if you didn't have a way to see them, if you didn't have a way to, uh, you know, ask them questions and, and uh, go through the application, you know, face to face. That was really, that's really a big portion of this industry and this niche that we work in because there is no medical underwriting. There is no nurse that's going to go out and see them. So if you, you know, there, you as an agent have a, bear a little bit more responsibility because the insurance company expects you to be to a certain extent, they're kind of eyes and ears. They're they're Everybody on that application is going to attest to the fact that, you know, we're, we're telling the truth and this is what we saw and this is what they told us and this is what we heard and this is what we observed and all that kind of good stuff. And so, you know, that change has been, like you said, you know, we were kind of everybody that had been kind of thinking about it or gosh, how do I handle a client that's out of state? was kind of thrust into with COVID was kind of thrust into having to come up with a plan. Um, but I think as it has evolved, one of the things that I have been so stri stricken by, by what we are doing and what our company is involved in and has been at the forefront of in terms of virtual and how that has, even how that has evolved and the training that has evolved from that, I think that the biggest takeaway, it was kind of like an aha moment for me a few weeks ago was, you know, we have hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of people. Um, I think we're either at or over $500, $500, 500 people a day on that, on that coaching call. And what right. it really struck out to me was how hungry people are for the specifics on how to do this business. You know, it's all, it's all, we talk a lot about living the dream and we talk a lot about being able to do this from wherever you're at and now, and, and the Im immense amount of money that we uh, make and have the opportunity to make and what a great balance it is between lifestyle and business, all of those wonderful things. But at the end of the day, the number one question, and I think the number one reason for why you attract as many new agents to you know, to our agency as you do. And one of the number one conversations that you have with people is they're looking for this system. Every, okay. Okay. I believe you. I believe you can make a lot of money and I believe you can have work-life balance. And I believe that you can do all of these wonderful things, but how, what do I say? How do I get the appointment? What do I do if this happens? Or I went out and ran up, made a bunch of dials and this is what happened. Who do I tell that to? Who helps to keep me on track? And I think that's why for so long you've seen, especially new agents, where they get in, they're really excited and they don't have all that training. They don't have a way to kind of do and review, do and review, do and review. And so they end up doing things that are not effective because they just don't know any better and they're having to figure it out on their own. 
And so I think that that is one, a huge change that we have seen. And it tells you how hungry people are for, for real training. Yeah, I agree. Hang on, I'm, my camera went offline. I'm trying to fix my camera here real quick. Well, I, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Had to, my camera went offline there for some reason. I don't know what happened. We had we had we had a, we had a uh, what do you call it? A, a, the last couple of weeks, last couple of nights, we've had electrical failures, you know, the power going off. So, but we're virtual. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I, I, I agree with that, and I, and I think that um, look, you had a you had a, you had a, made a comment to me last week, and it says, uh, you know, what our virtual training or daily calls really highlights is how hungry people are to learn how to sell. Uh, this insurance in home or virtually. And again, I think that's the strong point, but we've, we've talked with our, with our team and our agents is that you need to meet the client where they feel most comfortable. COVID's changed how people feel most comfortable. Most people today don't want you in their homes. They don't want to meet face to face. Uh, and I don't see that ever changing even after COVID goes away. So I, I think, I think that's here to stay where people have are getting used to, I know in our household, Angela, that's, that's the way it is. I mean, you know, we're doing almost, I don't, I don't know. You're, you're doing your grocery shopping from home. Uh, you're doing your Christmas shopping from home. Uh, you know, Amazon's at our house nearly every day. Um, so I, I just think that well, that's the world where we live in. I don't think it's going back. The, this, the milk's always been already been spilled, and and so that's and that's and, that's and more than that, people are liking it. Yeah, like I love that I don't have to run down to the grocery store. If I forget something, it just shows. I like. Yeah. I was always resistant to that kind of thing, but man, yeah. it's nice. Yeah, and I like it. You know, I mean, I, I don't, I like, I, I like not having go to go to the store as often. That's why we live in yeah. a rural area, um, and you know, it, look, we, there's not a whole lot we can't get delivered to us. So yeah. Sometimes in the next couple of hours, yeah. and I think that's going to continue to improve. Um, where you're going to get same day delivery, and then within the next within the next couple of hours. So why would you go out? Uh, you know, when I, when we go when we go out, it's it's to find that it's it's a happy place. It's it's to go to our happy place. It's to take a drive in the country. It's to go to the beach. It's to go to boating. It's you know these things. It's not to go to the mall or grocery shopping. Yes, you know how much I enjoy grocery shopping. <laughs> Right. Yes, so, you know, that for a it, I mean, like, so my point was, is, is that we we meet the client where they feel uh, feel that they want to be met. If they're within 30 minutes of where you are, get in the car and go see them. You're going to have a better chance of building a relationship with them face to face. And you are over virtual always. Um, but virtual gives us so much advantage in this business. It, you'll have to work harder to be virtual. You're going to have to earn it because, you know, you're not standing on their doorstep. But now you're you're you are able to to talk to families all across the United States from wherever you plant your fanny. <laughs> and that's the point. That's that's what I see. And, you know, and you can work. I mean, most of our guys, I think he's already said this. They're working. They're working four days a week. Yeah, they're booking, they're booking appointments Monday through Thursday. and They're taking Friday, Saturday and Sunday off. You can work any schedule you want to work. Um, but on that schedule, we got people doing having 10 to twenty thousand dollar days. Right. Days, not weeks or months, days. Um, again, just calling people up right. uh, and going over their options that they qualify for based on the interest that they had when they sent in a letter. We responded to one, our, to one of our direct mail pieces. Folks, nobody else has this out there. If, you, you know, if you're outside the life insurance bubble, you probably haven't heard uh, that you know, we have competitors. But we really don't because we're two years ahead of anybody else doing virtual. Two years. Two years. That's my point with the training. That being that far ahead of everyone else magnified, and the success that we're having with it has magnified the intense desire for people who are new to this industry for training, for the how to's, for how do I do this? to get this done that i think is what the glaring that's i think why not only are we so far ahead of everybody else but why we're having the success that we are with the virtual platform the yeah. virtual system because people want that they're hungry people are hungry for it 
Otherwise, you'd have five or six people that showed up every day and everybody else would be like, yeah, yeah, I already know how to do that. It's no different than what you were just talking about with, you know, the change that we've seen in a lot of it, you know, COVID, ugh, you know, all the things that COVID brought. But there were some good things that came out of COVID. Certain industries were forced um, to figure out how to do things better. And our industry was one of them. Yeah. So talk about, again, what, what, uh, you know, what we do is simple. It's not necessarily always easy because you're, you know, you, you, you have to, you have to put the work in. It's not a get rich quick scheme. You, you're, you're calling, you're selling them. The, you're working inside the, the, the most highly regulated industry on the planet, which is a life insurance industry. So there are certain, you know, certain processes when you're doing virtual, we verify our identity. We verify we're state licensing is licensed and all that stuff. Um, but other than that, it's a fairly simple business we we talk about all the time on our you know our team the three p's actually the four p's now the angel angel add in one where you have to get good first one is phone you gotta be able to to get the 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 uh inquiries that have been sent in call them on the phone book an appointment right get some basic information so that you can call back what they qualify later which is the products then you had to be able to, you know, to 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 put together a worksheet with three, four options that they qualify for based on their medical information, their age, and their budget. And then you got to you got to call them back at a, at a at a predetermined time and do a virtual like this, face to face. Um, and so it's product, it's this phone, product, and presentation. And the last one is you got to be persistent, right? Um, so again, it's a, it's a metrics based system. It's, and it's a law of large numbers, right? So you're not trying to convince anybody. You're not having to be salesy. You're just calling them up and talking like you would call like like you would talk to your mother, sister, daughter, whatever, and you know friends, and have a conversation with them and share with them because we don't determine what they qualify for. We're just the messenger, right? Yeah. So that's our job is to share those options with you. They're either in or they're out and you're on to the next one. And if you, if you'll run six to eight appointments a day, you'll get, you know, for them to, to, to sit with you like we're sitting right now and, and you'll protect two or three families. That's on average about 2000 bucks a day. So from there, if you're working the numbers, you can determine how much money you want to make. And that will determine how many days a week you want to work or how long each day you want to work. Right. So uh, it's a pretty good, you know, it's a pretty solid system. We've been, we, as Angela said earlier, we have over 500 people on a daily virtual coaching call. Um, and that's part of our training. It is not the, all, the entire training. We have our own agency level training, which we are involved in helping you and, and working with you on the phone script uh, and booking the appointments. We're with you 100%, Angela's team is, on helping you select the, cor the correct products. That they that they qualify for and that will benefit their family and their and their beneficiaries, and then we're there with the presentation. So we're there in those critical parts of the, of of the 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 skill part of this business to teach you and work with you every single day. In fact, we have live coaching calls six days a week. We then have a complete orientation training you go through, which is about thirteen different different steps: downloads, worksheets, phone scripts, and video. To, to watch. Then we have an uh, eight step virtual training program is specific only to doing business virtually. How to set your background out, background up, how, your lighting, um, you know, uh, your, your, your email and your texting and all that stuff, getting yourself set up for business. It'd be no different. Angela and I are looking for a new office in Florida. We're going through that process right now. We're looking for an office. Then we got to build out the space. Then we got to put desk on the ground. Then we got to put signs out front. All of that stuff is that's our virtual training is getting you ready to do the business virtually. Folks, nobody else has that in the market. You can you can call me, you know, whatever you want to call me, and, and don't you don't need to trust me. I'm just a face on YouTube, but go check it out. Right, their their training is is some YouTube videos, and some podcasts that they do, you know, and all that kind of stuff. We are engage you every step of the way. We're on the phone with our agents every single day, every step of the way, and teach them how how to be and uh, or become uh, field underwriters. It's that isn't, that isn't that isn't available out there, which is why we're growing at the pace we're growing. So if you're looking to do this on a part time basis or a spare time basis or a full time basis, 
There are three things, support, training, leads. There are non-negotiables. So, um, yeah, that's, so that, I mean, that's, that's what you need to have. And that's what you should be looking for. You should be asking the tough questions. And when I say leads, I don't mean, you know, a third party vendor sheet where, um, they're going to, you have to call and negotiate your rate or even if it's pre-negotiated, they're not, look, the, the strength of working with somebody that's with an IMO that has or owns their own lead program that's doing the actual mailing. That's the key. When you ask these guys, hey, do you guys got a mailing program? Oh, yeah, they got a mailing program. Yeah, it's, it's a sheet with some numbers on it, phone numbers. That's somebody you else's know. mailing program. It's what? It's somebody else's mailing yeah, program. Somebody program. They don't own it. They don't do their own mailing. Therefore, they can't control the quality of the quantity of the leads. So you make sure when you ask them, you get a, you get the correct answer. And then they go, oh, yeah, we have a lead. Do you do your own mailing? Because if they don't, they can't control the quality, the quantity of the leads. Uh, that's the, that, that might benefit them because they don't have to invest in a lead program because it's a seven-figure investment, Right but it doesn't benefit you because when they give you lead, a lead vendor list, those lead vendors are in the business of selling leads, the same lead over and over and over and over and over and over again and over again because they're in the business of selling leads. When your IMO owns their own lead program, they're in the business of selling insurance, life insurance. And therefore, they're exclu- those leads are exclusive to their agents. For the, for the, for the, it's the means to the end. We're in the business. We co-opt the leads. It means we share in the expense for the, with, our, with our agents. For the, for the sole reason not to make money in the leads, the lead program is a loss, is to sell insurance. Boy, that is a big, 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 you know, rider downer. Because that's where the industry, if you're not, if you're not careful of the questions you're asking, whoever's trying to go out there and recruit you, um, they'll gloss right over that one. Oh, yeah, we got a lead program. Right. And they're lying to you. Yeah. It's word salad. It may not be a lie, but it's a right. word salad. <laughs> it's word salad. Yeah, they have they have leads. What they really what they're really trying to tell you is they have, they, they'll give you access to leads. Yeah. But like you said, and I think it's a really, really important point. You know, if you're in the business of selling leads, you'll sell that lead to whomever and however often you possibly can and without any loyalty to any one person because your loyalty is to, is to how many times you can sell the lead. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. You know, so again, Angela, you are, you, you like me, um, you know, uh, we're tough cats to convert to virtual because I I've been selling insurance for forty years and I, and 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 I, what I what I lack in skill in sales skill I made up in relationship building. Right. I mean, I knew if I went into the house and sat down at the kitchen table, uh, I'll find a way to get them to like me. I was a chameleon. You know, if they if if, if they were if they if, if they like football, I love football. If they if, you know if they if they love walking on the beach, I love walking on the beach. If they like skiing, I love skiing. I was chameleon. I was able to, you know, that's what we do when we build relationships. We find a connecting point. It was also um, a lot easier to get people to be very focused because you were yeah. sitting, in their, sitting in their living room, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It, but the point was, is that, is that, um, you know, virtual kind of changed that because we're no longer sitting in their house. So I was, you and I were the last people to, because you were very good. You had a, you would ran 80, 90% closing ratio. If you say, well, then they were, they were buying. Oh, yeah. Um, when you were doing face to face, so we were the last people to be convinced to to go this virtual route. That we kicked and kicked harder and fought about it. Um, but it, we're we're blessed that we did start to make that transition. I, I you know, and I started to buy into what I was being told by industry experts that this is going in that direction, and it and it and it has, folks. We went from doing ninety percent of our weekly applications, and we had a record week last week, uh, sixteen hundred plus applications. Um. We went from doing about 90% face-to-face to now 90% virtual. It's totally flipped. Yeah. And fact, it was kind of funny. A few weeks ago, I had a client who was very, very local. She was an elderly woman, and I needed to get a document signed. And so uh, finally, I, she said, well, couldn't you just come by? And I said, it's fine. I'll just, come, I'll just bring it by. And 
as I was driving over there, I remember thinking to myself, this is a little weird. I'm going to go into this person's house. And it dawned on me how silly that sounded because that was how I, that's how we have made our living for years and years and years is by going into somebody's house. And, um, now I am, I'm, I can't imagine built, really doing this business any other way, but it goes back to the training. You've got to have a really strong foundational training to help you, um, get good and get better at being able to do this. Cause it is, a, you sent me a message last week and you said, it's a different beast. You've got to, you know, you just have to settle in and, uh, learn how to do it and then get better at it and get better at it and get better at it. It's just yeah. the way life is. Yeah. And I'm grateful we did make the change because yeah. we would be in really bad shape. Right? We still figure out how to make a living. Oh, yeah. Look, COVID, we're getting past COVID now. And a lot more people are willing to have you come to the house than they were during COVID. The, you know, there was a lot of blessings that took place and, you know, with the tragedy of, of COVID. One was which we were declared essential. So our business kept going. But we were still right. getting some resistance back from the, from, the, from the public. And we were having to figure out how to do it on the front yard, in the car, in a porch, yeah. whatever. Uh, and, you know. Again, make no mistake about it. Virtual sales, it was it was tough. It took us, you know, 18 months to really perfect the system to where it is right now. So all these other people that are getting into virtual just now are way behind. There are certain things you have to do with virtual, and I'm not going to share them on a podcast because, quite honestly, we 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 uh, we we, uh, we got sweat and we blood, sweat, and tears in, in in this in this process, and a lot of trial and error. And uh, they can go through their own trial and error, but there's a certain ways to uh, to do this business. Uh, virtually and 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 we teach you how to do that um and credibility is a big thing because that the lack of credibility is is um, is automatic when you're doing telesales um which i never understood never never want to do any, anything like that um but with virtual sales you still have a, a similar problem as long as if you cannot get them on camera so um it means you have to have proprietary software to do that without having to download a bunch of software and people have problems with their computers and you know our market is predominantly senior and that can be an issue with any kind of anything like that so you know we have that training and we have you know a lot of it and it's it's ongoing it's 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 both online and offline and like i said it's seven days a week so um you know it matches that what i said most all every agent needs leads quality leads exclusive quality leads training and support it's a partnership folks mm -hmm. if you haven't heard me say that before it's a partnership it is not a sign-up thing that some will some will and some what crap that these, these these people run around with going to sign, sign up thousands and hope someone's gonna make them rich um it doesn't work you know it may work for some but sooner or later people figure out that they're you're nothing more than your meal ticket and the, the, the lack of respect means they move on to, to, to greener pastures somewhere else so we have that training and literally angela we you, you you know we've been we've been on the beach we've been sitting in the park we've been in the car we've been you've done you've done appointments in the car before uh going down the road um you know anywhere you plant your fanny uh, we, th there's not a better time to be in this industry i, I gets me so fired up because literally uh, you know who would have said you know i mean i would if i if we were here 20 years ago imagine what we could have done we could have traveled our entire lives and all I, over the United States in, you know, in, in an RV and made a, made a multiple six figure living. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you something that, else. That's, that's how life should be lived. Yep. And I'll tell you something else. I was just thinking about when you were talking about, um, you know, if we had had this, you know, 10 years ago or what have you, um, where we lived in California and where we live in Florida, right. Two massive States. I mean, they're huge States. They, they, they are, you know, there's probably between the top of California to the bottom of California, probably, I don't know, 800 to 1,000 miles difference. And Florida is, you know, it's huge. So when you were working face to face, I can remember being in California um, and being in Northern California and looking at other counties within the state that I would look at and go, oh, my gosh, there are all these new mortgage protection leads and oh it would be great to be able to work them but you know it may not have been realistic or it was a new area and so you know now it involved having to get on a plane or drive a day to get down there and be able to and then you've got to stay there you know you've got to book the appointments you've got to jam your schedule up 
to try and get to all of these people in the span of a few days and stay in a hotel and all that kind of good stuff in order to work other parts of even just your own home state. And since we have been here, we have had the opportunity to work all kinds of different areas to find out what are the areas that we are, that we thrive in without having to invest more of our own budget, our budget, we could, we could reserve our lead budget for leads and not have to make our lead budget also our travel budget. Yeah. I mean, even just in your own home state, it makes a big difference when you can work something you know, when you're not having to drive four hours to an appointment and, and it's the only one that you got in that county, you know, you can work that lead on, on a Monday and work a lead that's two minutes down the road on a Monday. Uh, it's, it's been, a huge, there's so many different advantages and changes and it's, it's been pretty amazing. I, I, I've, I've never been through anything like this before. And, uh, that was, and that was my point that I didn't, uh, that we didn't touch on last. I, I, I was heading down that road and I, and I didn't actually finish it. We were the hard sell. People were trying to convince yeah. them. No way. I'm not doing that because we went, we didn't, we didn't want to relinquish what made us good, which was that relationship building in the home. And I asked Angela, I don't know, probably a couple months ago before, before we actually headed to, to, uh, to Florida, would you go back to virtual as a face to face? And what was your answer? Uh, I, I don't remember now. I think I, I think I said yes, we would. Would we be able we, to transition? We would not go back to face to face. Never. Oh. <laughs> Hostile guest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was good. Little, little, little squirrels running around in my brain and <laughs> grabbed a hold. Uh, yeah. No, I wouldn't go back to face to face. I would not. No way. We were talking. We were talking earlier this week. I was talking about. Um, there were some areas that I wanted to get some leads in and they just weren't available. And you said, well, what are you going to do? And I said, well, you know, I think I'm going to look at New Mexico. I think there's a couple other States that I'd wanted to try and, you know, see what my, put my feelers in there and see, because there was some availability there. And, uh, no, I would never go back to face to face. I told a client, a client asked me on the phone today. I'll, I'll end with this. Uh, a client said to me on the phone today, isn't because I said, you know, because of COVID, I don't, I don't have to come out and see you anymore. And she said, isn't it great? Do you just love being able to do it from home? And I said, I can't tell you how much I love it. I said, I just love being able to work with as many people as I do on a daily basis. And I get to wear my slippers during the day sometimes when I'm at work. Can't beat it. Wherever you plant your fanny. Thousand percent. And we're looking forward to really, really, uh, helping many of you that are watching this podcast our, our information is in the description and uh, you can reach out to us on email text or phone call if you want if you're not in this if you are in this industry and you're not excited about the about tomorrow and where this thing is going and what you can do virtually to build to, to really truly do what you want to do be with who you want who you want to be with and make your money around the things you enjoy doing um then you need to call us because the TN timing is much more important than the TN talent. Uh, if you're not in this industry and you want to get in this industry, you, you're in the right place because we can, we help you with all the licensing costs and all this stuff. You can do that virtually too. And, uh, and you need to get involved. This is going to be the biggest year in this, in, in the history of this industry. I believe, uh, it's absolutely a paradigm shift. And, and, you know, and the T and timing is more important than T and talent. You hear me say that all the time. It's so true. The timing is right now. Angela, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. I think we'll go back to the beach. Dig it, man. That's <laughs> for it. It's well, we appreciate you. And uh, we'll be here every week. I'm going to drag Angela on to it. And now we're at the same step in the RV. We're looking forward to talking to you. Bye-bye. I don't have some unhappy people here. <laughs> Here's Nick. He's looking at me. The water is no closer to us. He doesn't like the water at all. He doesn't like the water at all. Good. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here.
We're out of here. Bye. It's our pleasure to be here. We'll see you next week. Every Friday. Bye-bye now.